Okay, YouTubers, we have these three different heaters. We have a perfection heater over here. We have a Heller Sapphire heater. And we have your regular old American heaters. Uh, not old, but the new ugly ones they have. Um, so I would, uh, I would hazard to say that this is probably the most powerful one, but it's almost, uh, but it's also to a gas guzzler or an oil guzzler or paraffin guzzler, however you want to put it. Well, let's light this one up and see how it does. See if I can do this with one hand. see where that wick is okay And there she is in all her glory. The hell is a fire heater. Let's give that a little time to warm up and uh, we'll do a temperature check here on the top. Hold on while I pause the video. Okay, so I got this uh, big ass Dynaglo uh, DuraHeat uh, kerosene heater on. It's fluctuating, but it always does it at first. And um, let's see, this one's been heating up nicely. Just started this one up. This is the uh, 730 Perfection Heater. Got that white ring of light and heat. So that's lighting up pretty nicely. It's like the only one that's having problems is this one. Here. I'm sure it'll light. It just takes a long time for it to light. But anyhow, for right now, let's, uh, hold on. Let me clean the lenses. Okay. All right. And that's working out real well okay so this while this one's heating up we're gonna do a test on the uh, sapphire hella and the um, perfection heater it's a 730 perfection heater as you can see the ring of fire and we'll see which one has the highest temperature the uh, I can tell you now the uh, DuraHeat will probably score the highest, but I'm just waiting for it to heat up. But for right now, let's do a check on that. I'll take my handy dandy heat detector, turn it on, center, the very center of it reads 319. 333 let's do it this way 431 33 right about there just over 400 degrees and let's check the perfection heater Four hundred and eight, nineteen, four hundred and twenty. Solid. Check this one again. So it looks like it's a close match between these two, but I would say this one has the upper edge. Four hundred and twenty over the heller. But it's pretty close and uh, 
we got the uh, the Dura heat uh, is heating up pretty nicely now. As you can see, let's see how much this has got so far. Oh, that's surprising. 361. Not even 400. Four hundred eighteen now, four hundred twenty three, right about four hundred, almost four hundred thirty. It's about four hundred. I would say it's pretty close between these two. Yeah, this is four or five, so it's building up. So let's pause it and wait a little while and see what happens. Okay, so we waited about 10 minutes now, and let's take a reading. This is over 500 degrees. This one's over close to 500, no, 400, 460. This is 400, 471, I would say. They're fluctuating so much. But I think I can uh, say without a shadow of a doubt that uh, this is the winner, it produces the most heat, but it also uses the most kerosene. So there it is, the Dura heat, the Sapphire, and the Perfection. In terms of heat, that would be number one, two, and three which I've done a temperature reading on the Latin Blue Flame and they're about the same. I think this is a little bit higher than the Blue Flame. But I'll do a test on that some other time. Talk to you all later.